Hello everybody, this is Leah and Ryan from FeathersleyPigeonAuctions.com on this New Year's Eve day. Showing you guys a little behind the scenes footage at the Feathersleep Pigeon Auctions photo lab with Ryan. He's going to give you a little tour and show you guys whoever's interested, how we do the photos, the eye videos, and the eye shots. Feathersleep Pigeon Auctions. Who do you have there with you today, Ryan? Hey, hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Leah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in on this uh, happy New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve tonight. Everybody uh, is going to party it up, I'm pretty sure, and have a good old time at your homes. Just stay safe. Remember, again, cheers to everyone on New Year's. And one great thing about doing photographs of pigeons, I always recommend. First tip, pour yourself a cocktail. Why? Because you want to be calm. You want to be relaxed. We are going to be doing some photographing today of the enemy Van He pigeons. I'm going to just. We're going to be doing the eye uh, photos. Uh, show the box that we use for the photo, uh, the body shots. Um, this is where it all happens. We do, like we say, we try and keep everything in house. Those are the pigeon auctions. So what else can I say? That's so 12 why don't fantastic you, why don't you photos show, to do. Show what, how you start and what you do. And if anybody has any questions, post them in the comments. We will do our best to answer them. Let's take a Beautiful look. Beautiful cock. Remember, guys, whenever you're doing photos, I highly recommend you have a pen, scrap piece of paper. See if you put the band numbers down. Uh, again, I'm not a pro at this. I've only done about, I don't know, 800 or 900 photos. I'm not claiming to be a professional by any means. This is just what's working for me at this point. And I'm always evolving. I'm always trying to learn. Um, but again, you got to be calm when you do this. This is the main thing. Uh, I never write whole band numbers down of birds. I always use the last three digits of a bird. So uh, again, this is 616. I'll write that down. I'll write dark checker and he's a cock so it sort of looks just like this again i'm not a professional writer my writing doesn't even look that good it's okay thanks for flying with us guys next is for the fun time we start to photograph and again we use our macro lens uh, again this is a super high power lens quite a bit of money camera i think everything together was just over 2500 Canadian dollars, again, you've got your, your trigger, you got your bird, you got your eye, you got your light. Whoops. And let's see how this is going to work. So we'll hold the bird up, put them in here. Now you're, you're going to see it's a little bit bright for you guys. And I just make some adjustments. And you always want to try and have the light at 12 o'clock, between 11 and let's say one on the eye. And as you can see, the trigger here, see, what, see where my thumb's wiggling? That. It takes the picture. That is super bright light, wow. I mean, if I took the light away, you, it wouldn't. Let me just see. But you know what you could do? Just take, I won't, shut, I won't yeah, take a photo. Shut the light off. That's how it looks. And then everybody can just see what it looks like. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Exactly. And, and, and I use props. I use, uh, I use things to rest the bird on, rest my hands on. The secret is trying to keep everything as still as you can. I find if you're a little nervous or you're excited, which for me, it's like all the time. Um, you just got to really calm down and don't be afraid to move the eye a bit. And I like to take five to 10 photos and you'll see there, uh, Lee, if you go over to the other camera, yep. maybe I can, uh, there let's see, maybe I can play what we've got here. So you see some of the eye photos. Yep. And again, you're seeing it so bright. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just doing a live taping, but I'm going to put those on again. Got to change my pants. 
only live here. This is what happens. But you see, we can change. You take multiple different photos. And again, as I say, uh, what's great about taking multiple photos is not everyone's going to be crystal clear. And then you just kind of got to go through them and pick out what is crystal clear. So there that's that. So that's step one. Yeah, that is step one. Normally what I like to do is I like to do a couple. I'll do maybe all the eye shots, and then I'll do all the eye videos. And again, it's just the same way. Um, probably no questions today. No, no questions. Maybe everybody's getting ready for New Year's Eve. What are we doing? Yeah, you, we are behind the scenes here. We're just doing some um, eye shots, eye videos, and overall photos of the Anime Van He group auction group that's right her auction begins and let me just pull up our schedule and take a look the anime van he online auction begins january 9th feathersleeppigeonauctions.com it's going to be a good auction she's got some fantastic pigeons i think their family's got almost 80 years Close to 80 years or almost 100 years in pigeon support. I'm getting, I'm a little nervous here on this bird. I'm moving around just a bit. But again, you just get it set up in that camera. You need the macro lens. I'm always looking for a strong enough light. I don't even know if this one's strong enough. But uh, you just take your time with it. But always keep your light around 12, between 11, 11 and 1, I think is the best. How about we take a look at that? Beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. Beauty. Gorgeous red checker hen. The buoyancy on this hen is super. Again, nice wing. 2019. It was a late bred. Super. Isn't she nice? Yeah. Nice really character in her. Beautiful. Very, 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 very nice pigeons. Uh, Anime has quality is very, very nice on them. And again, like I say, you just take the last three digits, put them down. And just be calm when you're doing your photos. Uh, again, if you are going to do photos, I recommend uh, don't go cheap on your, on your camera or your lenses. Uh, because they do help you big time. I mean, I've tried going to the people that said go to the pawn shop and buy this camera and buy that camera, and I've, I've spent money doing that. And uh, then the pixels aren't as good. And this, I mean, a, a camera from ten years ago. I'm sorry to say, I just don't. I don't think it's the best choice. But if you want to do that, go ahead. So, um, did you want to show? The next step, or um, yeah, let me let me bang off one more here, and then I will go do the the videoing of the eye. So that little trigger there, that's what actually takes the photo, right? Yeah, yeah right here. This allows me. You see where my thumb's twitching? Yeah. Okay, so that allows me to not have to hit the camera button here. Gotcha. Because I I only have two hands, right? Right. So I use. And as you see here, I built a stand for my light. Right. I'm using a Vita from Versalaga to rest my wrist and the pigeon on it. Uh, so we're so if you were taking it this way, right. You see how it sort of rests? Right. Right. And then you just prop it up and you get it into the spot. Gotcha. And again, you want maybe I can hold on. Oh, let's see something here. Hold on. Let me just do a switch of Ruby. What's this? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. So when you're holding it up, you've got the eye here. And then you can see, you see the white dot on the top of the eye? Yeah, the camera's just bumping. Maybe you can see it. waiting maybe. for it to catch up. Oh. There we go. 
but when you're you're shooting you want to keep the white of the light around 12 uh, 11 to one o'clock and that's how you do it and you see you're calm the birds relax then the eye can focus more and that's the same what we do with these videos so let me do a rotation here again and the birds totally calm if you're calm yep. you got to be calm yeah you have to be calm and if you're planning on doing photos you're planning on doing photos and rushing and like think you're going to take uh these 12 pigeons i'm going to be honest will take me three three and a half four hours today to do because by the time you photograph them and you say oops this one i didn't shoot it clear enough or what have you uh, you got to do it again again when we do the videos of the eyes we do it with the same camera boy this bird's got a superior eye wow Again, I'm not no expert on eye sign, but I do like a nice rich eye and the muscle. This eye just just shakes. And I think that's why we decided for part two of the auction season that we were going to um, do the videos, the odd little eye videos as well. Yeah, and and if you. Uh, Leah, if you go over here to the second screen where you see the computer, I will show you um, what you guys, I'm sure, have already seen. But well, let's let's play this video here. This is a video of what we're doing, and you see how I have the light right there, twelve o'clock. Uh, I'd like to get something smaller and a little brighter, but it's just hard finding the right lenses. But you see, that's how it plays. So you're seeing the the muscles in the eye and how they work. Um, so, uh, let's see. Let's check out another video. And then, like you see, each eye shot has a corresponding eye video. Right. And, and that's people, I've, ha I've had enough people say, well, you doctor the eyes or you fudge with the eyes. What good is that? Oh, look, Leah, there you got the writing there. See? Oh, yeah, here, there. And this, Which I'm sure I've, this I've one, done, I've uh, played a few of them the last couple of weeks just to give people a little taste of it. But, yeah, that's an, that's been not edited as in the color's been edited, but just we've added the band number and the name of the pigeon and whatnot for reference purposes. Hello, Owen. Yeah, that's right. Hi, hey, Owen. Happy New Year's. <clears throat> Happy New Year's. If you've just joined us, we're just showing you guys a little behind-the-scenes footage of how we do the eye shots, body shots, eye videos for our auction site. I see a lot of people are getting into the pigeon photography on Facebook, and uh, we just thought we'd show you guys how we did it, do it. We have enough, we have enough people ask, who does your stuff, who does your stuff? Guys, we take care of the birds, we auction the birds, we photograph the birds, we import the birds, we do it all. We keep it hands-on. Now I'm going to go back to that first cock here, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do his uh, eye video, which, again, uh, Leah, you go over to the second camera here. You see the screen right here. Um, now we're going to... Well, now we see your, gonna, elbow, your elbow there. The, the lights. Yeah, okay, so here the screen. Here it goes. You don't need this anymore. You're going to hit the record button, which it's recording. And I'll say 616, blue checker cock. Now you'll see in your, you'll see you got to get the, the, the eye in focus. But you probably won't be able to see that. I create a bit of a shadow. And I like to record these eyes for about a minute and a half until the camera really focuses in. Sometimes it's harder. This one can be a bit difficult here. And normally I know what you do is you'll do all the eye um, photos and then, cause you wanna give them a break in between, right? So Ryan will take all the photos of the eyes in order you know, 
take their eye photo, put them in, back in the crate, t- do the next one, do the next one, do the next one. So they're getting a break in between. You won't do the photos all like a photo video body all at the same time, right? Don't you give them no. a break in between? I give them a break. Um, I'll do just the, the eye photo, which is normally anywhere from five to 10 shots. And normally in the five to 10 shots, um, I get it pretty much bang on. Pretty much. Again, I'm not perfect. Uh, and then uh, when I'm done that, I upload all those, get them out of the memory card, put them into their spot in the in the breeders folder. And then I go back over and I do the minute to minute and a half eye videos. And in that time, it allows me to, to edit a, a good 30 second clip. I'm not edit, I mean, pick a, a 30 second clip where I'm the most still, the bird's calm, and the eyes working properly. You're going to see some of the earlier videos. Maybe you're working out the glitches, but uh, I think as we get onto this, it'll be really, really good. Uh, and hopefully, you guys like that uh, because it gives you a real eye how it would look if you had a loop and you were holding the bird up into the sun. Uh, how the with the muscle, how the eyes dilating, shaking, twitching, whatever you guys like to see. Uh, again, I claim to be no eye sign wizard or nothing. No, but it definitely gives you a different perspective as opposed to just, um, you know, looking at it on the, on the photo or, you know, on a video of just looking at the bird as a whole. When we, you know, the eye shot, the videos, I think is beneficial. Hopefully the buyers feel that way. Potential buyers. Yeah. And, and, and you know, again, uh, if you're going to set up something to do photos, try and set your station up to be... Uh, so a lot of the eyes come out to be the same. Uh, have your lighting in the same spot. Find a good lighting spot. Try and get the eye as flat as you can. Uh, I- I'm still working on it. Like I critique my eyes pretty hard. <laughs> um, it's it's tricky. I, we have a question from the lar- the yard loft pigeons. And he says, hey, Happy New Year's Eve. I'll put the comment up there. There we go. Hey, Happy New Year's Eve. What macro lens do you use or recommend? Um, okay. I'm not claiming to be a camera uh, wizard. So what I did was I went to a local a camera store, not a Best Buy, a real camera store, and I showed them the photos that I wanted to replicate. Uh, I wouldn't say replicate okay. copy and i said i don't know anything about lenses i don't know anything about cameras i'm i basically got to do this job i've signed myself up for it and uh they guided me on what i needed so it's it's a it's a macro i i could take it off and, and show you it's a i think it's a macro uh i can't see it it's canon macro whatever it, it, it's a strong enough one i put it on automatic focus uh camera here i think the camera is a canon it's about fifteen hundred dollars or sixteen hundred dollars with the lens and everything it came out to about twenty five hundred i do recommend i'm going to show you on the ground here get yourself a good stand okay a good tripod that can handle what you're going to do also this little thing here this little trigger it clips into the side of the camera got a long enough cord so when you get really mad, you can pretty much want to hang yourself from time to time. I'm just being honest. Because, <laughs> Leah, you know how many times I've almost done myself in with this cord. Yeah. Um, and this is what you do. You just you figure it out. But the, the idea is to set it up in a spot where you're not taking it down. I do not fuss with this camera. I've got it in the spot, and I leave it alone. I don't... Uh, use this camera to do the body shots, nothing. I just went hell with it. This is my iSign camera. <laughs> so that's not the same camera that you use for the bodies? No. And well, in, a bought- minute, in a minute, Ryan's going to take us over uh, and we're going to take a look at the photo box that uh, Ryan uses to do right. the body shots for all of our auction pigeons. And you'll, you'll see, you see here, Leah, this is a tripod here. Okay, I have multiple of these tripods. I think they're about $125. Get a heavy-duty one. Get one that'll hold you. And what I mean is, if it falls over, it doesn't bend, it doesn't break. Uh, it's got a level in it. 
It's got a few things. You can go up, you can go down. It'll hold an iPod. It'll hold a camera. It'll hold multiple things. Right. So don't cheap out on that either. Uh, again, to get properly into it, you're looking at around, uh, I'm going to be honest, you're going to be around $3,000. And you're going to say you're going to curse a lot. Because if you're not a camera person, it's not the easiest. It's really not. And I know I see people out there and they do, they're, they're, they're trying it and good on you. It's, I feel for you. Yeah. I really do. Not the easiest. So do you think, do you, you want to? Um, uh, I do want to thank, I do, I do want to just thank last time I was in Belgium, I visited a flyer, uh, the name Vel Velki. 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 And uh, it was really nice. Uh, he took me in. And he showed me, I, I showed him my photos because I think he's the master right now at it. And he gave me some good criticism and, and that's all I wanted. Uh, I told him, just rip them apart, go ahead. And uh, he did, he showed me some things, uh, some things that I need to improve on. And uh, I really appreciated that. And he does uh, all the, or a lot of the photos for. Uh, I, I think he's the, I think. I don't know if he still does it, but he was the big photographer for, for Peep at the time. He was doing, I think he said he was doing anywhere from 1,000 to 2,500 photos a week. A week. A week. Wow. Uh, he, he said it got to the point where there were people coming all times a day and people that just wanted photos done. Uh, for themselves. For, their, for themselves. But the, the quality of the job he does is fantastic. Uh, I'd love to be there for a month and just do photos with him just to just to learn, learn more. Right. Um, but again, when I went to his place and he showed the photos, what I really picked up on was how relaxed he was. I mean, he didn't care that there was an audience or he just talked yeah. to me just like we're doing now and just go poof, poof, poof. But pigeons totally feel if you're in a bad mood, uh, the eye signs. Okay. The, the body photos, if you're not in the right mood, you might as well just, not do it no because they just feel it and, and and you know if you're with your wife or your significant other and and they're already in a bad mood because you got to go grocery shopping or something and you say oh i'm gonna bang these birds out in half an hour don't. doesn't work it just it, it doesn't work for me i don't like uh i don't like music in the background i don't like people coming in i just like it quiet and uh i just sort of talk in my own head or, or whatever and and let just let it happen yeah <laughs> i mean that's really the the the, 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 the simplest of it is uh make sure your room's dark you see here it's it's uh it's dark in here i have one light running i have my photo box over there with the lights on because i'm going to go over and show it to you which will go there in a second um but normally i have everything off i just have this light on when i'm doing the eyes same thing when i'm in the photo box I have my photo box over the other side of the room. I have all the lights off. Other and if anybody's, photo box. yeah, if anybody's going to sit in the room, when I do the photos of the birds in the box, I don't talk and don't talk to me because I feel that the bird picks up on it. Right. He's like going, well, what, what's that in the background, right? Adito just said, happy new year. So that's happy new year to you too. You're just watching a little bit behind the scenes at the Feathersley Pigeon Auctions Photo Lab with Ryan, who does all of our eye photos, eye videos, and body shots. Just giving you guys a little behind the scenes footage of how we do it. And we have the Anime Van He auction group with us that we are yeah. photographing today. You see, Leah, look there in the background. There's a photo that we've worked on. Let me just uh, pull this up here. Yeah, there we go. And again, I know you can't see it, but right around where my thumb is here, yep. you're going to see the rings. And one thing I did learn from Valhi was he said to me, you have to show, try and show the last digit, the last two or three digits of the bird. Not the first, the last. So when he told me that, I looked at pictures I had done. Um, I had noticed, you know, maybe I had the, just the, the Belgium ring or the CU ring or the, you know, the first three digits, but right. not the end. But the end is like the, the license plate on the car. Right. Um, so that I had to work on. Another thing I had worked on that I didn't like is when people take photos of birds and they don't show the band side, I think that's just no good. 
That's my opinion. I don't right. like it. Right. And I hate it when people leave marker rings. Marker ring. Uh, that, so that's a little pet peeve, yellow... of, pet peeve of Ryan. And this is what I... Little marker rings. Now, I marker ring all these birds. So the, the Van He birds all have a marker. So I take the marker off, put the marker back on. But I hate it. I think it doesn't look classy. It's like a... It's like it's like taking a car and spraying the the shit on the wheels, that white shit, and you don't yeah. wipe it off. Yeah. And then taking a photo of it. Like, it's just... That's another thing I do. Um, and 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 get the get the band as straight as you can. I'll show you sort of how I do it. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna have a bird in the photo box, but I'll take the camera over and I'll uh, give you a little rundown of, on that. Okay. But, so why don't we uh, do that now? But just stay calm. Let me close my. And all the birds are always in a widowhood crate. If you want to know what I mean by a widowhood crate, there you go. Keep the birds individual. Keep them in here. That way, I keep them in a, what do you call it, a photographing order. I keep them in an order. I keep it the same order on my paper. Let me just, I can get a little spooky there. Sorry about that. So we're going to head over and take a look at the photo box that we that use we will. for our body shots. And now, are you sure you don't want to put a bird in there and uh, really let the good <laughs> times roll? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Let me uh, Let me switch the camera here. Okay, we're just going to switch and you're going to take a Buffer. look at our photo box. There we go. So this is our photo box. Uh, it's I'm going to I'm going to rip it apart. I spent about a thousand dollars on it US. Uh, it is a great I call it an amateur box. I'm going to improve. Uh, I'm going to build something on my next one. Uh, it needs to be bigger, taller, a little wider, a little deeper. Um, but that's the box there. And you'll see I have a different camera completely. I got multiple lenses. I'm really trying to learn here. <laughs> uh, again, I have multiple lights. And this is a light I use at the back here to add more. Normally, I have another one over in here. But just to get in and show you today. Um, so normally, you run with two lights on the outside plus the lights yeah. that are inside the box and there's the lights inside the box for people looking you see them there okay this is the magic wand and i'll use this turn the birds uh band okay clean the band always keep the have the band clean so I'm just, I'm doing a live show. What do you need, Ricky? Yeah. I, yeah, it's a hundred. I'm on, I'm doing a Facebook show. Yeah. So this is, uh, sorry about that. This is the photo box. Again, uh, for birds that bands are on their, would you say it's the right foot? Yeah. What I'll do as I bring the bird over to here, I'll put the bird in on this corner. And I almost put him right in the corner. And I let the bird go. And then the bird turns. And then I start to play. And I use the wand. If you want, I can get a bird and show you if that's what you're thinking. Oh, sure. Why don't you show us? Okay. So let's just... You know what actors thing. say, they don't work with children or live animals, and we might see why that's the case here now. Ryan's just going <laughs> to grab, grab a pigeon and show everybody how he puts it in the photo box and does the body shot photos. Okay. Uh, Joe from the west of Ireland, nice to see you, friend. He says, wow, great setup, guys. Very professional. Well done. Well, you know what, Joe? Thanks. We're learning. We're always learning and looking and seeing how to improve. But uh, right now, this little setup here is working for Ryan. So you see, see the rings? Here's the pet. Here's the first thing. Make sure the feet are somewhat clean. Make sure the bird's calm. Make sure you're calm. Don't panic. If it doesn't work, it's actually not going to work. It's not going to work for a while. You're going to have to find out how to do it and figure it out. But let's see him, if I can put him in. Again, Leah, I've got the switcher, or I've got the... So here he goes into the corner. Easy box. A little nervous today. You're okay. That's traffic. 
and you gotta you gotta you gotta move and, and you, you see just how calm and if you were to do this you adjust again this isn't a camera but you see bring it up again you see the ring number can you see it now if you want to turn it you turn it a bit you can turn it however you want but you just have to play with it and you adjust again pigeons you got to lift the wing up a bit pigeons like the feather feather doesn't really bother them and there it is a little bit of work take your picture you go into your photoshop lab do a little adjustments and that's it and very, how, very many, easy. how many body shots do you normally take of one um I'll take multiple. I'll, I'll do sometimes. Sometimes you'll put a bird in and you get it in three shots. Sometimes you'll do eight shots. Again, a lot of it deter comes on to the, the band. You see how I turn the band? Right, this guy wants to turn his, drop his wing a bit. So you adjust it and then you just kind of, you go with it. So in Remember, total, for, with every pigeon that we do, you'd say how many shots in total with eye and body, maybe 20 to 30? Yeah, I'd say 20 to 30 shots, eye and a photo. The videos are normally, are, are normally one, but you see a pigeon is used to a feather, right? Right. If I put my hand in, he'll get, he'll, 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 he'll get all cock-a-doodle dude. Now, the other thing, the other thing is I find better quality pigeons i don't ask me why and i'm going to be honest they take good photos like this guy here he's just a good photo pigeon take a look at him well he's standing I... like he's standing like i've been here already i'm i'm a winner <laughs> and okay. i put birds i put birds in and they act they bounce and dance and you say every four letter word that you know and you're even doing it in different languages it's funny it's like the languages just come to you but you'll see if I go to put my hand in. You see how he changes? Look at that. See? See how he? This ain't the same. But when I come after him with the old feather, the tickler, which we, the, we the call tickler, it the tickler, and I <laughs> and I can lift his head up. I can lift his wings up. I can push his feet. Sometimes you can go under his feet. You'll you'll rub their feet, and they'll 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 go like this. They'll tap their feet and they'll straighten their feet up. But there you go. There you go. Tips Quite. and tricks. Who would have thought you know. of the feather on the stick, but it works. And again, all it is is you go to your local HD Home Depot and buy. It's it's a propelling stick. I use the red tape on there. And this feather, I change it. I don't know. When I, I feel it's not, it can't grab the band. Right. This one here. Sometimes you see how the band's turning? Sometimes the band doesn't turn. you got to pull the bird back out. And away you go. But again, if you try and move this bird with your hands, he changes his relaxedness. Right. You see him tense up? Yeah. You see? Even I don't like to rest the stick. I don't like to make noises. I keep everything. And I bring it up to him. I don't shove it into him. Just slowly. Look, let him see it. Let him feel it a bit. All right. You come right up under his beak. This touch them you can turn them with the feather again i always use a 10th flight 10th or 9th flight <laughs> so that's that's that pretty pretty simple but you'll see when you go in here to reach for them with your hands you're going to be a different pigeon there you go so save yourself so, the frustration go get yourself a little um telescopic uh stick put a feather on it and tape it on and tape it good and and you know what when the feather wears out you just put a new feather on you but go. you'll find if you use just the stick the bird won't like it once you add the feather you add grip you can touch the feet the bird feels fine there you go and again if you're shooting like i say if 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 this was the band on this leg i'd put the bird in this corner and you see how he already comes now on this corner right you see how he comes out of it right right so that's if the band's on this leg so i pick the corner i hate i hate when bands are on this leg i just don't work well off of this side 
Uh, I'm being honest. Take a look at this guy. Now, isn't this guy worth buying? Take a look at him. He's calm. He's cool. He looks like a stud. Thank you, enemy. And for Very anybody nice. else, anyone who's interested, this is a enemy Van He uh, pigeon that will be up for auction in January. And what's the band number on that one, just in case anyone's taken a fancy to it while he's being the last... so well in the photo box? It's shutting the light off. Uh, the actual whole ring number, Belgium 2020, 3113616. So 616 in the Anime Van He online auction? You're going to like him. He's strong. Strong copper. Uh, sw switching the camera. There we go. But, uh, you know, if, if we can help people out, again, the idea is to promote pigeon sport. And, uh, you know, the best way to promote your pigeon sport is to promote your pigeons and get people involved and, and, uh, and I mean, definitely both, and doing, like doing do. photos and taking eye shots and promoting yourself is a great way to promote the sport as well. So hopefully these little and, and I know... tricks helped people who were trying to kind of getting into the pigeon photography hobby. And uh, again, I want to add, um, you've seen the photo of that pigeon. That was his real look. When you look at any magazines, catalogs, anywhere in the world, from Playboy to the shopping network to whatever, everything is slightly Photoshopped. And with the pigeons, we do do that for our site. We make sure that the, the stands, we clean it up a bit. But we do a live show where you see the birds. We do... Uh, the live videos. Uh, we do multiple live things to give you the real aspect of that bird. That's right. And we do it to cover everything. Right. Uh, so people that get on and say, well, oh, everything's photoshopped. Everything you buy is photoshopped. So just sit down and stop. And you want to know what? When you take the time to do the, the proper editing, it's it's a job. It is a job. As and, we just see here now, It's uh, it is a job and... And the reason why people will put the comments, and I, it really irritates the shit out of me, they say, these are natural photos. These are natural photos. Stop. Stop. I'm not here to hear about natural photos. The Sears catalog doesn't even have natural photos. The reason why you're saying it's a natural photo is because you don't take the time to edit, cut it, and do, 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 do. That's what it is. That's the truth. And the truth, what do we say, Lee, about that truth? Well, sometimes it hurts. But you know what? To each their own. And some people have different ways of looking at things and different ways that they want to have their birds represented. And that's perfectly fine. This is the way that we do it. Seems to be working for us. Um, and I do like the fact, and this is why, we do so many other things other than just the photos. We do videos and live shows and um, show them even in the show cages on the vid on the auction uh, recap at the end there just before the bidding closes we want to give the buyers every the, option every option to see the pigeons in every single angle whether it's in a photo or in a video or during a feeding you know we want the buyers to make informative bids and so that's why we go to that next level Anyway, well, that's, we're, we're going to make them look good in the photos. We're going to make them look good live. We're going to make them look good in your hands. And you know what? If you're if you're putting a catalog together, this is the, those are the sort of the types of photos that the world is asking for. <laughs> that's that's kind of the standard now, right? It's the industry standard. There you go. <laughs> no, Lee, I think this was pretty fun today. I mean, hopefully uh, people picked up on some things. Don't cheap out on your cameras or your lenses. Again. You don't have to do 14 million pages of research. Go to your, your local camera store, real store, take them in what you like and say, I need something that'll do this. And I, I do think what is a good tip, some of the real camera stores, if you buy your equipment from them and in three years, boy, you're just loving this and they come out with the new XP8427895 that has 19 gazillion megapixels. Normally, they'll trade it in and give you a deal on it. There you go. You heard it there first. A little behind-the-scenes footage. Um, and please, we are uh, just wrapping up some loose ends, and we are getting ready to start again on January 6th with another full 
flight of auctions. Super excited about that. We have some great names coming up in the new year. Something to look forward to. Happy to say goodbye to 2020 and uh, get on we, with we, our Flight 2. Flight 2 is going to be great. Again, some of the biggest names, not only from Canada, the United States, Belgium, uh, Germany, uh, the UK, Scotland, Ireland, and England. Leah, we got the trifecta right there. All three of them lined up. All three um, lined up. Plus Denmark. We're excited about that. Denmark. Plus Denmark. Uh, again, we got Golden Deutsch. You know what's, what's amazing? We got a Golden Deutsch winner from Scotland. We've got last year's Golden Deutsch winner from Germany. Okay. Uh, special little uh, beep, 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 news update. In our Valentine's Day couple sale, we have two couples from the third place winner of 2020 Golden Doy Germany, Tino Bergman. What are we saying here, Leah? Amazing. Are we bringing the level or what? Uh, SN, uh, SNG Fuchs uh, also is Golden Doy winner from 2018, Last I believe. Year. That's right. And, and again, he specializes with those hardy cougar birds. Um, and then a very special super sprint machine flyer out of Belgium. Leah, let them in on that little secret. Dennis Sapin. Not one bird is in North America from this gentleman. Not one pigeon. Ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. There we go. It's going to be a very exciting 2021, and uh, we're excited to share it with you guys starting on January the 6th. In the meantime, let's wrap this up. Um, wish everybody a very happy, healthy, and safe New Year. And we look forward to seeing you on January the 6th. And hopefully you've enjoyed this behind-the-scenes footage of our photo lab. I, I enjoy it. Guys, uh, have, a, have a safe holiday. Leah, that was a great wrap-up. We'll see you guys on part two, flight two. I'm Leah. No, that's Leah. I'm You're Ryan. Leah. <laughs> I, I'm Leah. That's Ryan. Those are the birds that you see. Now I'm going to get back to click, click, click. Uh, More photo taking. And we wish you guys a very happy new year. And we will see you on January 6th, if not sooner. I'm sure we're going to do some, get some live feedings in before then, but... I'm Leah, that's Ryan. We're from FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Happy New Year, and as Ryan would say, Thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.